Okay, it is um, day four of Vita, moving day. Um, I'm about to get on a train. Actually, I'm not about to. It's still like an hour and a half away. But getting on a train and I'm moving into my apartment slash city. Um, less of a city, more of a town. And I'm terrified. <laughs> So, I'm in Fukugawa somewhere. Maybe, I think. I'm not really sure anymore. I got lost this morning, and then I got on the wrong train. I think I'm in the right place. I just don't know where I am. It looks really pretty. I don't know who I'm looking for, and I'm an idiot, and I don't have the number of anybody's number I should have. Welcome to Japan, Melon. <laughs> just, just an empty um, station. I, I don't. I, I just really don't know where I am. That doesn't look like it says Fukugawa. Pardon me, looking like an absolute wreck. Um, this is the first time I've been alone since I left my hotel this morning. Um, I don't know how thin the walls are here. I don't feel overwhelmed, but I know that I am. I used to talk about this thing when I was 20, how like there were emotions that I knew I was supposed to be feeling, and so I would say I was feeling those emotions, but I didn't feel anything. I feel nothing. Um, and I was super sad when I left Tucson, and I just, I haven't felt anything since. Um, like, I felt like brief moments of like excitement and like anxiousness of like things, but they, they're not like really attached to an emotional place. Anyways, I got to my town. It's called Mosushi. It's very hard to Google. If you try Googling it, be prepared to find more sushi. A lot, because even if you write it in Japanese, it's just like, did you mean more sushi? And I was like, no. I typed in Mososhi. Why would you, what are you doing, Google? The post office itself gave me a present. Um, it's like some tin foil and some like Tupperware and some like hand towels. And I was like, that is so sweet. And then we went to this ramen shop right across the street and it was really delicious. And the lady who owned it was like, oh hey, you just moved into these apartments. Um, my daughter is your neighbor. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then she was like, yeah, you're gonna be teaching my granddaughter in, L um, in nursery school. And I was like, this town is small. The trash system here is incredibly intense, but I think generally beneficial. Like, there are no trash cans in the streets in Japan, like most of Japan, like even in the big cities. No, it's hard to find a trash can. Basically, the entire town is gonna know what I'm doing, especially because I'm a foreigner, like, all eyes are on me. And <laughs> they sent me this letter that was like, even when you think you're, um, like, not being watched, you are. And I was like, that's really scary, which is why I'm not talking very loud, because I don't know who can hear me, or who knows English, or like, how thick these curtains are. This sounds like a horror film, but honestly, everyone so far has been really sweet. Oh my god, this is like adulting 2.0 because like I'm in another country and it it's like hard mode because I don't understand anybody. Oh, this is gonna be great. Mm. I can't wait to sleep. That's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, I'm gonna go because I've been filming for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do an official conclusion today. This was Vita, day 4. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for being here. No. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being here. Pass the cranberry sauce. We're having mashed potatoes.